بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله that Allah Zawajal granted for us an understanding of the world of life that the people whom Allah Zawajal inspire for dhikrullah to remember Allah Zawajal so that Allah Zawajal remember them And that in that remembrance and in their character and in their training, the shaykhs taught them the world of light and malakut and paradises. Their hunger, their desire is for the paradise reality, not the dunya. There's dunya in everything, there's dunya in everything of our religious practices, there's the dunya within the religious practice and there's the paradise reality. That which is greater is the paradise reality. Allah's biggest example of tafakkur is the holy Kaaba. That from wherever you are, you are to focus on the Kaaba. And that to visualize that you are praying in the presence of the Holy Kaaba, that is a tafakkur, that is a contemplation. And only Allah come and teach from Sayyidina Muhammad's teaching that anybody who enters into paradise can never leave paradise. Anything of a paradise reality, it always stays in paradise. This world of light is something that can't be understood through physicality. But every action that you do with your soul is from paradise, is a light. Any, any paradise action that you do, you have to know with all your heart and soul that your soul is right there. That's a paradise location, that's a paradise reality. As soon as you visit it, your soul will stay. If you ever visited the Holy Kaaba, you made Umrah or Hajj, Allah won't let you just to depart back into dunya. Allah keeps a portion of your soul right in that paradise reality. And every dress Allah is going to be dressing, dressing upon that reality. So it means that your reality can be everywhere, especially if you are making ziyarat and going to see holy places, holy locations and holy souls. That wherever you're going, your soul is receiving that tajalli of the Holy Kaaba. Imagine the power it's receiving from Holy Medina. But the soul visited and it stays, it's like a light, you have to visualize your ruhaniyat can infinitely be dispersed. And Allah keeps one form of your ruhaniyat right there in the presence of Medina, the Munawar in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad. It's a paradise reality, the highest paradise reality. And every dress that coming upon that soul is dressing your location wherever you are on this earth. Receiving that light and sending that. So science understood now the reality of a wave and a particle. And they understood that when this light turns into a wave, it communicates with each other. They took a beam of light, split, these three splits each communicated with each other. And that's when Awliya would say, and Abu Yazid al Bistani with the Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I have been in 24,000 places and prayed Jummah today. Split his light and pray Jummah in 24,000 locations. 
to get more barakah than when me and you go for one place for children. Means this world of light is immense in its reality and its understanding. Iman is what you make it to be. Faith has no limitation. Nobody can put a limit on what your faith is capable of doing because that's the sign of reach out. Why awliya and pious people became awliya is because Allah granted them sincerity and their faith like mountains means that what they believe Allah granted their belief to be true and Allah has no limitation on what He wants. Whom Allah gives the mulk who can say no? And whom Allah denies the mulk who can say they're going to get it? Means Allah is the one who distributes this reality. But the vastness of this light and mix with the reality of faith. You believe it and you're sincere. You believe it and you're sincere, Allah makes it to be real. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties including all your financing needs. We are one stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 AAA Realty. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. Those who live a life of their external means the dunya. They go to the Kaaba, they see a house of stones and they leave. Because it's only dunya understanding, no, no light understanding, no paradise understanding. Paradise understanding. Allah just wants you to face there because there's a light emanating from there that's going to be dressed. And your soul going to be sitting and standing in that location receiving these emanations until the day of judgment. And this is the reality of tafakkur. Allah gives all of these realities on earth it's a matter of what you want to do with it. If you want the Kaaba just to be a house that you visited and you went home and you have pictures around your house of the Holy Kaaba and it becomes a, a dunya, it becomes a, a, a mulk understanding for you, the benefit of it becomes very limited. 
your understanding and the depth of your understanding becomes very limited. But with these guides of light, their teaching is new. When you're going there, there's a reality there. There's a fires and an emanation that emanating from that Holy Kaaba, you should be connecting with it. You should be connecting your heart. You're praying only to Allah but Allah wants you to take a secret from the emanation of that house. What's coming through that house, are you able to connect your heart with it? That's the first level of muraqabah for everyone. When they say there's no meditation in Islam, so what are you doing then with the Kaaba if you're not meditating every salah? Where are you taking yourself in every salah? Well, Allah is saying, no, you have to. You have to visit them once to make your connection firm and all your life you have to pray focusing upon it. So this is tough like this. This is the concept of, of keeping your tafakkur. But if they're zahiri and external understanding, they see it as only a house of what, whatever the house is, who cares. The internal and the people of paradise, Allah want them to know, what is a paradise reality? Every salah and every namaz connect your heart, Ya Rabbi, I'm nothing, I'm nothing. Let the paradise lights to dress me, to bless me, to fill me with their emanation. Now imagine everything on earth that's from that paradise. Walakil karam na bani adam. That which Allah built with His two hands and blow His Holy Spirit, its secret of that verse itself. What Allah put in the secret of Bani Adam? That then if they become clean, if they become pure, their heart is one house. There's a house that you built with stones, because humans built the Kaaba and put it there. And there's a house that Allah built. Insan. said, this insan whom I built, I guided, I blowed into my spirit, into his heart or her heart, they are of a paradise reality walking upon the earth. So then don't make a personality cult out of the shape. It's not about amassing pictures and, 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 and being so wrapped in the personality, this is my shaykh, that my shaykh, he's my shaykh, he's not my shaykh, this is my shaykh. But what are you able to get from the shaykh? The shaykh is like a Kaaba, he's walking in many places. Are you able to connect your heart? And say, Ya Rabbi, that if this is a shaykh, your, your lights must be within his heart. I must take a way in which to be a treasure hunter and retrieve those lights from that heart and from that soul. And then the use of the shape becomes a focal understanding. Zahiri, they just move photos and, and, and clicking and, and making a personality out of the person and, and, and really never truly understanding the reality of the shaykh nor tapping into the reality. But what they're coming to teach with tafakkur is that, no, you find the shaykh and then you live a life in which you connect your heart, that I'm nothing, I'm nothing, let me to be wa kul ma sadiqeen. Quality, integrity, 
Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. The annual Grand Milad brought to you by Hobe Rasul is taking place on November 8th at 6 p.m. Come celebrate the biggest molid on the West Coast and raise the flags of love for this most blessed occasion. Take part in Salawat, Nat and Kavali recitations. And Ziara of the Holy Hair of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon you. Also, enjoy a delicious three-course meal, all included in this free event. Tickets are available now on nurmuhammad.com forward slash events. Consciousness of Allah means fear the bad and encourage to do the good and the Ya Rabbi let me to keep his company or her company. Let me to receive the fires and the light that emanating from their soul. Let me to make that, that connection from my soul to soul. Then you begin to understand that which is from paradise you can never leave it. There's no leaving a shaykh, people have no brain. As soon as they talk you can understand the level of their knowledge. Their tongue gives away their muqam. If I'm not in Mecca, do you think I'm not praying inside the cow? Only the people go to Mecca they, they, they get to pray. <laughs> It's kindergarten people. Means there are people who are, that's their zahiri life. Yeah, they, they go to Mecca at that time, they believe, they go back home, maybe go to Las Vegas after because their faith is, is based on just one trip. But what they're teaching, no, there are people who, when they reach sincerity, they focus, they focus, they focus. Not only their soul is in the presence of the Holy Kaaba at all times, Allah invited them inside the Holy Kaaba. With who? 124,000 prophets, 124,000 Sahara, 124,000 Ahlul Bayt, 124,000 Awliyaullah. When Allah says, I'm with Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhada, He was This is the best of company. If this is Allah's house, this is Allah's words. If we're going to be with Allah, we're with all of those souls, means Allah has their soul inside there. So are they ever not together? No. And they don't have to go to Mecca to reunite. They don't have to take a plane ticket and then spend $50,000 on a Hajj package to reunite and see each other. Means just at this level of understanding, their souls are always in the Kaaba. If there are Kaabas and Qiblas on this earth, there are 124,000 awliya Allah. If there are Kaabas and Qiblas, their souls are always together, there's not a way to leave them. 
Anything from paradise stays in paradise. Anything bonded with the love of paradise stays in paradise. It's only the mulk that spreads out and, and because of shaitan it breaks and becomes fatah, becomes different categories. But malakut is the ocean of tawheed and oneness. They're in one ocean in that reality and they never leave that ocean. When they teach us to make the connection to the world of life, there's oneness in the world of life. All the shaykhs are together, all the tariqahs are together, all praying to keep their hand upon the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad And that's the reality of the ocean of life, that the light is all together, the light is bonded together and they're teaching us connect to the world of light so that all this ignorance will be dispel dispelled from your belief. Don't live a life of form in which you make yourself into groups and you're with this group, you're with that group, that group. All these groups are on the hands of Sayyidina Muhammad whomever you find your heart connected with, connect your heart. Sit and make your tafakkur and your contemplation, say, if you are Muhammadiyun, send this light of Prophet into my heart. Take away my bad condition and raise me into a better condition. Then he understood that their purpose on life was not to be personalities of worship, but they were supposed to be receptacles of sending and spreading prophetic light of the Because they draw you to themselves and they teach about their master. They teach about the greatness of Sayyidina So that when you draw near to them, you draw near to that haqqaiq and that reality, the greatness and the beauty that makes Allah happy. Because it's manifest and when Allah wants to grant you manifest, He grants you what He loves. What does He want to grant you the love of Himself? His love is Sayyidina Muhammad So if they are only Allah, their purpose is what? Like a Kaaba, come, come, but don't be distracted by, by personality. But now take an understanding of this love of Sayyidina Muhammad Close your eyes and receive that brightness. Close your eyes and make that love connection to Sayyidina Muhammad Take these knowledges into your heart and into your soul and go deeper towards your reality. Connect with the one whom will never disappoint you. Connect with the one whom is most praised in all of Allah's creation. See, that's their role. If they brought you to that and put your hand onto that rope and you connected to that rope, you have been granted a tremendous success. That is the victory of this life. The Nasrullah. That Allah grant a, a victory and an opening. And the greatest opening for Allah is if us to connect in the middle of all this shi'atin of dunya. To connect our love and hook it on to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad so that the love of Prophet will be blessing us, dressing us, taking away every type of difficulty and granting us from every type of rahmah and mercy. Wa hurmati Muhammad and Mustafa for the Sir Farmaya mahbooba zamane sare tere ne O arshivi, o farshivi diwane sare tere ne Rab farmaya mahbooba zamane sare tere ne O arshivi, o 
Shine it. 